So welcome to the first steps of LifeBoard Mini. LifeBoard Mini, such as LifeBoard, is made out of panels. The graphic user interface can be personalized as you wish. On the right hand side, there are the minimized panels. You can add them as tabs to any other panel. And you can also detach them if you use a couple of screens. This is the main output device. This will show any graphics that you are playing out. If you go into help, there is a very important info panel that will tell you information about your license and the software version. Help will open the LifeBoard Mini manual. If you haven't done it already, now it is time to go to the preferences and set the correct output device driver. Go into the video panel and select the device that you are using. The resolution is to be set underneath. Press OK when you're done to save the changes. Now we will open one of the projects that come with your distribution called Bloomberg. This is a full screen example project that has a couple of tickers and many graphic elements made out of plugins of LifeWord Mini. The two group contents in the common contents will start the graphics. In the upper left corner you have the positioning environment while on the right hand side the main output device. This is the graphics that you're playing out actually. Now we pull down the settings panel. If I go on any content here in the contents grid and say edit, it will show me all the settings of this single content. This is the background shape and this is a ticker. In order to see the settings of the group content, I have to stop the playout. Right click, edit and it will show me all the grouped elements. Now let's open the second project that you will find in your distribution. PIP stands for Picture in Picture. Press the start buttons to play out the graphics. The first one will have the background, the lower third and the second one will play out the three video inputs that we have set in this project. Only that there is no signal, so what we're going to do next is stop the playout and go into the preferences panel into the video input manager and set the three video inputs that are allowed for LiveBoard Mini. In input 0 I'm going to set an NDI source. By pressing the tool icon I will open the panel where in the drop down menu I can select any of the NDI sources available for my computer in my local network. In the video input 1 the color bars. In source 2 I'm going to select libvlc and by pressing the tools I can directly paste my MRL string into the source name box. In this case I'm just selecting one of the presets by pressing the drop down menu. I'm ready now to return to my project and assign the newly set sources to the contents that I have in my contents grid. By right clicking on the content I can put it into edit mode and from the settings panel go to the video input and select the source that I wish it to show. Please note that these three contents have been hidden in the positioning environment, so you need to right click on them and uncheck the hide in positioning. So you will see them in the positioning panel and also see the preview of the source that you're selecting. Now I'm satisfied with my selections and I'll go and press start and I'll also start the video inputs. And there they are. I'm playing out actually the three picture in pictures that I have set. One is NDI, one is a VLC stream and one is the color bars.